All right, so it is running. Good morning, body odor sufferers. Back again with another article I want to share. So I did an interview with Amy Brooks, if that's what she wants me to call her, Amy Brooks. And within the chat, there was some guy, person named Look At Me Now, who was talking about there was some type of article on the Mebo blog that was talking about a person named Dr. Weber who created some type of sulfur-eating bacteria that can, you know, eat the, I guess, eat any type of sulfur compounds that might make you smell, therefore make you smell odorless or make you not have a sulfuric smell. Um, so I, I decided to look into the meal box and I actually am at the art article right now. Um, I guess the article is called Weber's New Gene Suspect for Metabolic Malodor, Selin BP1. So let's say let's see here it says breaking news information very fresh treat blog interpretation with caution okay that's interesting doctors wevers tangerman and winkle of holland have long been known to have an interest in the sources of halitosis including metabolic disorders that may cause metabolic halitosis today they publish a paper that gives us a new gene that may cause metabolic halitosis the gene Selene, selen, BP1, selenium binding protein 1, chemicals that cause the smell, in their view, is methane, methanethiol, methanethiol, I don't know how to say it, and dimethyl sulfide. How to identify in urine, high levels of dimethyl sulfoxide. So in this, um, in this uh, video, it basically breaks down these two gentlemen, uh, Dr. Weber, and I think it's another guy. I'm actually, I have it open right now. And I, I'm going to put a link to this to this uh, video. Basically, they were just breaking down how, you know, they were researching how to do, um, researching the reasons why certain, why certain people have like a cabbage smell or sulfuric smell. And they found the breakthrough, like there's this bacteria that can eat, you know, anything that gives off this sulfur compound therefore you have an odorless smell um whether it has to do with halitosis or whether I, i'm assuming also has to do with body odor as well but let's finish reading this article at the Mebo blog first impressions from the abstract paper from abstract not full paper selen bp1 oxidizes methane fuel five patients reportedly having cabbage breath odor had gene mutations Malota was judged to be due to methane thiol and dimethyl sulfide mainly. Biochemical tests probably dimethyl sulfoxide in the urine, um, dimethyl sulfoxiduria. That is a very complicated, expensive word. They say it may be potentially frequent disorder. First thoughts on the paper. The sulfur methyl compounds in humans possibly are oxidized by various enzymes at different points in the cycle, probably including FMO3. So, while they seem to be certain it, it's selene BP1 at fault, perhaps there's room to speculate. It's probably not properly uh, agreed as a consistent consensus what chemicals cause the smell of feces, gas, etc. No one interest, interested yet, but trimethylamine is probably more likely a small player compared to the likes of methane, methanethiol, I'm going to say methanethiol, and dimethyl sulfide. These two chemicals are probably at the top of the list of maybe 5 to 10 chemicals which may cause fecal gas cabbage smells, with TMA possibly being a much lesser player, so CH3S and DMS are welcome candidates for partly mainly causing metabolic mal malodor. And in this paper, the researchers seem to believe they have identified the gene for a new metabolic malodor syndrome disorder. So, you know, I know I got tested for TMAL years ago, and it came out negative. I'm going to test it again, but I feel like, a part of me feels like I have like something else. I mean, you know, I always uh, attribute myself to having fecal body odor. And, you know, when you have a fecal smell, you usually have some type of sulfuric smell. So maybe the selen BP1 is the thing that is causing me to smell bad as opposed to like, you know, you know the ah, trimethylamine manuria being the cause of why I smell so bad. Now, there is a couple of things, um, a couple of uh, links, um, like the full paper link. I'm actually opened it up 
and it's a long ass paper filled with a lot of terminology and jargon that I can't comprehend but I'll drop that in the link in the description as well if anybody wants to take a look at that and there was also a link to Dr. Weber and I guess we can read this too let's read it a little bit um so Professor R.A. Revers uh, members of the media are kindly requested to contact the press office of Rabor University Medical Center and this is a phone number Professor Ron Revers is a clinical chemist and heads the Translational Metabolic Laboratory, TML. This TML laboratory carries out patient care and research into congenital uh, metabolic diseases. TML specializes in inborn errors of meta metabolism, mitochondrial diseases, congenital neurological diseases, congenital disorders of glycosylatio, iron metabolism disorders, nephrological nephrological what is that nephrological diseases nephrological that is interesting okay there are many types of rare metabolic diseases together they make up an important clinical category of diseases metabolic diseases are prevalent in all age groups but particularly in children the tml laboratory has state-of-the-art facilities for protein research proteomics and has particularly expertise in the field of nmr spectroscopy and mass spectrometry of bodily fluids so that's interesting too so i'm going to link all these things down below i think people should actually watch the video and give it a like um i'm not actually on my my bos account but i'm on my other account give it a like and also watch the video uh to speak on it a little bit i think this is pretty good news and I would love for it to be in some type of pill form or some type of form and see if I could try that thing because there's a, apparently some TML pill that's supposed to come out. Maybe there's this, there's going to be a pill or some type of thing like this coming out in the near future, hopefully not too far off. And then we'll have different options to choose. So let's say that TML pill or whatever the pill is doesn't work. Okay, we can use this his treatment and hopefully we'll find some relief, especially to people who have holitosis because I know he specializes in holitosis. So that's good for a lot of people who have holitosis. I am interested in it. I'm interested in seeing the results. Um, I'm interested in getting some type of pill or tablet form so I can consume it and see if I, there's any type of relief for me because, you know, again, you know, most of my experiences when people talk about me behind my back, they'll say he smells like shit or he smells like ass. So maybe, you know, I do just have a sulfuric smell about me and this thing that they're coming up with can treat my disorder. So I didn't want to make it too long. I'm going to drop all these links. You guys have a good day, man.